basic challenge that customers have, customers have with inventory management is they think about inventory management as a target safety stock or an inventory level. Uh, people view inventory as an investment and as a cost of doing business. I think the first big step that customers need to take is to look at inventory as a strategic weapon, use it as a way to gain market share, use it as a way to improve customer service level, use it as, as if it were a very significant capital investment that they're making. Once you get past that mindset, then the question becomes how do you, what strategies you need to be adopting? What are the capabilities that you have within your network in terms of physical infrastructure to manage inventory strategy? Uh, and third and finally is what, what sort of technologies and tools can you bring into play uh, as part of an inventory planning or an inventory optimization uh, framework? Inventory optimization really brings to bear a new class of technologies and ideas to supply chain management where companies are looking at uh, you know, no longer looking at a one-size-fits-all supply chain strategies for companies. And inventory optimization helps them tailor their supply chain inventory strategies to each of their customers depending upon their criticality and how much margin contribution and value that they drive to the bottom line. Uh, so we see inventory optimization as being uh, a huge step beyond the basic demand, supply, um, you know, processes that companies have implemented in supply chain over the past several years. It's a great baseline. Uh, it helps them drive their businesses. But to get to the next step in terms of leveraging inventory as a strategic advantage uh, to take market share, uh, to drive uh, greater value, uh, we see inventory optimization as being a pretty pretty potent weapon uh, in, in companies' quests for uh, profitability and market share. Well, I think you have to look at inventory planning and inventory solutions as being, you know, sort of the foundation or base level of capabilities in inventory optimization. Uh, so you have basic tools that do inventory planning and inventory calculation, uh, which have been around for many years. That's what I would call sort of a table stakes or a level one, level one capability. Uh, the next level are solutions that take into account segmentation of customers, understanding customer buying behavior, and, and driving different inventory strategies for those customers. I would call that a level two. A level three capability would be looking at customers from a network perspective, looking at inventory as what's the capability of an entire network uh, to meet a certain service level, and using inventory as a strategic weapon throughout that network. Level four, uh, what I would call you know, more mature inventory optimization strategies, is looking at this as a closed loop in a continuous feedback kind of a mechanism where you get information from customers in terms of how they're buying product, using that to in turn refine your inventory strategies throughout the supply chain. That's what I see as the overall capability, and you're seeing leading customers, leading supply chains adopting level four capability, closed loop inventory optimization techniques to really make a difference. I think you should look at what are the drivers for inventory optimization uh, to really understand what industries are applicable more. Uh, pretty much you would see wherever there's variability in demand uh, and higher cost of inventory, where any opportunity to optimize inventory levels without sacrificing customer service levels, such tools would be applicable. Uh, there are variations with product life cycles, uh, the volatility associated with product life cycles, the, the variability associated with promotional activity that also drives the type of strategies that you would see. So the kinds of industries where we would see pretty significant adoption of inventory optimization technologies would be in the fast-moving consumer packaged goods industry, uh, we see them being adopted in the semiconductor industry. We see them adopted in the high-tech electronics industry. We see these as being the primary industries where uh, we expect to see significant growth uh, in adoption of these techniques and driving greater value in these industries going forward. Mm -hmm.